guys, what's up? Yo, I haven't done a video in a while, sorry. I need to brush my hair and yeah. Oh, as you can see, I have, I cut my uh, bangs. I say I, cause I did it. I have, yeah, I did that. I did it <laughs> in my home mirror. I was just like, I was brushing my hair and I noticed that my side bangs were pretty long. Now they're really short and they bug me now. <laughs> Smart, right? Anyway. So I was brushing my hair, and then I'm just like, it just annoyed how, me how long they were. So I just grabbed my scissors and I, I just, I just, you know, did the whole, just look, snip. And um, my dad was in his room. He's just like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Cutting my hair." He's like, "He's like, okay, just be sure to put the hair in the trash." I'm like, "Okay." Now see, yeah, because I've done that before. I cut my bangs a lot myself. I cut my, I don't cut my hair by myself. Oh, the last time I did that was in fifth grade because I wanted short hair and my mom didn't want me to get short hair, like really short, like uh, this short, like kind of like um, Kristen's hair, like after she was done shooting the runaways, it was like short, kind of like, like a little bob kind of. And I wanted to get my hair cut because I used to have really long blonde hair and I hated having the long hair because it was really, really long. And so my mom didn't want me to cut it because she wanted me to be Rapunzel, obviously, for the rest of my life. So she fell asleep <laughs> watching a soap opera one day and <laughs> I went into the bathroom and I grabbed the scissors and I just kind of, I literally grabbed my hair and I just did the snip and I cut it and of course I obviously like cut a little bit off to make it less jagged but it didn't work and I just waited for her to wake up and when she woke up she at first she didn't realize that I had chopped a good chunk of my hair off um and she kind of just looked at me she's like do you want a sandwich and I'm like sure so she goes in the kitchen and I'm just like she didn't notice I was just waiting and <laughs> sure enough there was like a pause in the kitchen, um, and then I hear the the refrigerator door slam. She runs out. She looks at me, and she just the. It was seriously sounded like it sounded like something like she had just found like a dead rat on the carpet. It was like the most loudest blood curdling. Like she was in pain, kind of a scream. She 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 fell to the ground and she was just crying like convulsing she was like oh my god how could you do that to your beautiful hair and you know and i'm just like well and i told and i literally said I'm like well i told you i wanted to cut my hair so i cut my yeah i was a bit i was a really i was a brat i was such a brat in fifth grade and um that day, then of course we had to go to the hairdresser and they had to fix it they had to cut a little bit more and the whole time my grandma my mom was just crying she's like i can't your hair is just like yeah like half of it like she actually went into my bathroom and went into the bathroom before we left and she's like where's the hair and it was in the i i i'm like dumb and i instead of flushing it which is what i should have done to hide evidence which doesn't make sense like oh hide the evidence and <laughs> she's never gonna notice i don't have long hair anymore i hit i hit it i like seriously put it at the bottom of the trash can and then put all the other gunk in back in so <laughs> It didn't work though. So yeah, enough about hair. So yeah, I, I did somewhat of a good job, I guess. I don't know, a little short, but whatever. It was bugging me, so yeah. Okay, what else shall I talk about? Oh, on the 28th of this month, I am leaving to go to my trip and I'm so, 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 so excited to go. I'm um, really excited, and I'm gonna be gone till the 14th. I'm back in the 14th, which is the day before Harry Potter comes out, and um, yeah, that's funny. Cause like my friend like she likes Twilight and she likes Harry Potter too. So I was kind of like expecting it to come out while I was there, so she'd make me come go see it. And now that I've told her that hey, it comes out, I leave the day before it comes out. I leave the day before it comes out. She's like, oh, we could go to, like, the midnight showing and stuff. And I'm just looking at her. I'm like, you know, you do realize I'm going to be, like, the only person in the theater not crying. 
and I'm not gonna know what the hell is going on. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be asking, I told him, like, I'm gonna be asking you a question, like, every five seconds, because I've only seen the first movie and part of the second movie, and that's it. That's, that's, I don't even, I haven't seen the first movie in years. Like, elementary, like, back in elementary school. A long, long time ago. So, I have no knowledge of Harry Potter, and I'm gonna, I told her, I'm like, every five seconds, I'm gonna be like, what the hell is going on? Who, who is that? Why did they just do that? Wh huh? Why? And, you know, and then, and then when everyone's crying, I just feel like, what happened? Who, who is that? Who just got killed? I'm just not gonna know. The only people I do know is that the the Harry Potter, because obviously, and then I know, um, Emma Watson. I don't know her character's name. I don't know anything. I honestly don't know anything. <laughs> don't know anything. Anyway, uh, besides that, uh. You guys want to see my bag? Oh my god. It's so... Yes, I've already packed and I'm not leaving yet. But yeah. All of it. And I'm... I, I think... I'm probably going to end up having to open it because I'm sure I'm going to like have a pair. I'm probably going to be OCD. and Because I'm always packing early. And I'm always like thinking I didn't pack enough stuff. Or I didn't pack... Or I packed too less of stuff. Or... I don't know. I'm going to change my mind about what clothes I want to bring because I'm just, yeah, I'm OCD about stuff like that. But um, anyway, continuing on, let's talk about books. I'm reading Stargazer, which is the second book in the Evernight series. And oh, look. Hello. <laughs> and uh, it's really good. I like this series so far because uh, my friend's like, oh, if you like Twilight, it's one of those, if you like Twilight kind of book books you know it's like if you like twilight you'll like this um so far i did i've done that with uh the um house of night series which i just it just died after the third book and then i did that with the immortal series which died after the second book i honestly i actually i finished i honestly forced myself to finish shadow land i did i just oh my god it just dragged on the first book evermore the first book out of the immortal series that's a good book if you ever want to read that series, read the first book and stop. Just don't, just seriously, there's no point. In re it just drags. It drags. After the second book, the second book had too much of a new moon syndrome, which kind of killed it, you know? And not that new moon isn't terrible, but um, it just had too much of a new moony kind of thing. So I'm just like, Bleh. So yeah, if you want to read any book, read Evermore and don't read the rest. Don't read Blue Moon, don't read Style Land, don't read the rest of them. I actually have Dark Flame, which is the fourth book in that series, and I'm probably not going to read it. I might, or I probably won't even read it. I'll probably just skim it to see what happens, but I'm probably not going to. I'll probably just sell it. I'll just give it to somebody. So, yeah. Anyway, my dad actually, uh, for my trip, since I'm going to be on an airplane for six hours and ten minutes, I know it, right? I know. I remember. Anyway, he, I need books to keep me alive. So, so far I have two books, which is one, uh, Because You're Mine, Lisa Kleepas, which is a historical romance. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm a very big historical romance, like, freak. And I'm a big, I'm such a, like, hopeless romantic. It's not even funny how hopelessly romantic I am. So, yeah. And I love Lisa Kleepas, she's like one of my favorite authors in the historical romance genre, so I'm like, she can do nothing wrong. And then this next book, I'm pretty sure all of y'all have heard of it, um, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, my friend who recommended this series also. She's like, you have to read The Hunger, Hunger Games, it's really good, and stuff, and she, and my other friend heard her say that, she read it, she liked this book. So, I'm finally buying it. And, um, has anyone read this series, read this book, planning on reading it? You know, I read the first, I read the first page, and the fa first page and the other page. You know, I read the first two pages. I'm like, they, it caught my attention. So, yeah, and I'll, apparently this is supposed to be the next Twilight or the next big franchise, considering here, since Harry Potter and uh, Twilight are coming to an end, this is supposed to be the next big shabam series so cool yeah and then this book which isn't a book i'm gonna bring on the airplane because it's not really 
well, whatever. Anyway, it's the Element Encyclopedia of Birthdays. Uh, know your birthday, discover your true personality, reveal your destiny. And it's actually a really, really a cool book. And um, I found it in uh, Costco. I didn't find it in uh, Borders, which is where I bought these two books. So, yeah. So, yeah, I looked, I read my birthday. And if you want me to, I probably won't do this in a video because it'll take too long because it's like a paragraph. Because each birthday, it's like a paragraph, so, or more. So, I might do this on a blog TV thing, maybe, in the future. Who knows? Maybe tonight, tomorrow, depending on how I feel. Um, borders, about borders. I have something to pick at with borders here. Uh, I just, okay, uh, I, bleh, 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 I can't talk. I went into Borders, I had, I told my dad, like, I had a specific, there was, like, this one book I knew I wanted to buy, and that was Cosmopolis, uh, by Dan DeLillo, DeLillo, I don't know how to say the name, anyway, it's, uh, based off of Rob's movie that he's in, so I want, like, Rod Elevance, I'm going to read the book before I see the movie, which the movie's probably not going to be released till next year, possibly, probably, anyway, Anyway, so I just, I told my dad, I'm like, okay, I know there's this one book that I want to get, and then I'll probably just find a book or something, you know. So I went to look in Borders, and I found Diane DeLillo's section, but I couldn't find the book. So I went on their database, their computer there, and they, they only had it online. They didn't have it, like, in the store. So I'm like, what the hell, BS. So I... I already knew I probably was going to buy this book, and I, this one I just found randomly. Well, not really randomly. I just looked for Lisa Cleabas. I'm like, I was just like, oh, Lisa Cleabas, let's grab a book from her, because she can do, she has, there's only, actually, there's only been, like, one book of hers that I didn't really care for too much, so she, so far she can do no wrong, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I had to go on Amazon, and I, and found uh, Cosmopolis, and it said that it's gonna, it should come neither during the 24th to the 14th, and I'm just like hoping that it comes before the 24th, or on the 24th, because I swear to you, if it comes after I leave, I'm just gonna be so bad, because I want it, one, because I really want to read it, and two, because uh, my friend, who I'm gonna go see, she wants to read it really bad, and she's just lazy about buying books, so I kind of want to get it, so I, so I can be like, ha ha ha, I have it, and you don't, and she's probably going to want to steal it while I'm there. She's probably going to be like, I got it. And besides, from what I look and see in the book, it doesn't look too big, so it would probably be like a snap to read. So yeah, I have nothing else to say really now. Um, hopefully I didn't bore you to death. And um, I'll probably see you guys later, maybe on a blog TV or uh, another video. So, oh, also Mona, uh, oh Natasha, I saw your video about Mo about Mona's gifts, and now I want to send because I feel like I need to send Mona stuff because she sent me stuff, and I feel kind of like I need to now. So I want to send you some stuff, Mona, some American candy, and oh my God, Natasha, all that candy seriously it got me jealous. I wanted to get candy because. I don't have candy at the moment, so I'm not supposed to, basically my dad told me I'm not allowed to buy candy until I, till the day before I go on the airplane, which sucks. Anyway, I can eat fast food, but I can't have candy. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, uh, so Mona, send me in a message your address, that sounds creepy, so I can send you stuff, or get prepared to send you stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.